Abigatran as an alternative to warfarin for the treatment of patients with non-valvar atrial fibrillation has produced a possible sea change in therapy. Now in circulation, researchers report on a database from the Rely and other trials to compare the cost and quality adjusted survival of various antithrombotic therapies. To do this, they ran a Markov model in a hypothetical cohort of 70-year-old patients with AF using a cost-effectiveness threshold of $50,000 per quality adjusted life year. They estimated the cost of dabigatran as US $9 a day. For a patient with an average risk of major hemorrhage, the most cost-effective therapy depended on stroke risk. For patients with the lowest stroke rate, that is, those with a CHADS-2 score of zero, only aspirin was cost-effective. For patients with a moderate stroke rate, that is, a CHADS-2 score of one or two, warfarin was cost-effective unless the risk of hemorrhage was high or INR control was in therapeutic range, less than 57% of the time. For patients with a high stroke rate, that is a CHAD score more than three, dabigatran 150 milligrams twice daily was cost effective unless INR control was in therapeutic range more than 73% of the time. Neither dabigatran 110 milligrams a day nor dual therapy with aspirin and clopidogrel was cost effective. If you are a bit confused, so was I. But here's a short version of the outcome. Dabigatran, 150 milligrams twice daily was cost effective in AF populations at high risk of hemorrhage or high risk of stroke unless INR control with warfarin was excellent. Warfarin was cost effective in moderate risk AF populations unless INR control was poor. An accompanying editorial provides some wisdom. A key next step will be to see how dabigatran fares in the setting of typical patient care where it may well perform differently than rely would suggest. Until then, there is merit to the recent ACC and AHA recommendations that for those who are currently stable and doing well on warfarin, staying in the course with that annoying old standby may be a prudent and certainly affordable course of action for the near future for many patients. I'm Peter Block with the Cardiosaurus Heart Minute.